Paul again here. Um, once again, a short video about another very useful Chrome extension. Today, I'm going to look at SEO Quake, which is really about search engine optimization and keyword analysis and all that good stuff. So um, I've got the plugin up here, SEO Quake. Let's go to a website where we can um, do some analysis. I'm just going to use keywords. Sorry, SEO is a keyword to pick a site up around here. Who should we use? Uh, search engine watch. Let's pick that page there. Right, click on the SEO Quake button. We get some immediate overview stats there. Some very good information here. Backlinks. Backlinks are, of course, external links there. Other sites that link into this page. Display advertising. Don't know why it's unreachable. Back to traffic analysis. Now, we can do a lot more detail by going to the page info button or link at the top there and here it gives us a much more detailed look at the page keywords key phrases I always find it confusing when people talk about keywords because really it should be a key phrase because a you know a keyword is a singular thing um, anyway we've got key phrases there diagnosis so it looks at the page's correctness so there we've got a slight problem what's the tip there so it tells you what to do about fixing that red triangle. Well, look at this naughty people. They've got 26 images without an alt tag. You can't always, you know, you can't always help things like no text on an alt tag because the tool will pick up things like icons and arrows and pointers, things that are just navigation hints on the screen. They're not actually meaningful images for a user to know about. Um, so quite often you will see things that get picked up because they don't actually need any alt text. Quick scroll down here. So again, lots of very useful information. Talks about the internal links. Internal links are very good for SEO when you link pages within your website. Excellent external links, links that are coming from somewhere else. Um, now, another really good thing about the SEO Quake plugin is that you can use it to show information on the search engine results page. So here we go, SEO Quake. You can toggle this on and off. Now, as you can see, when you switch it on, it's listed all these search results here. And look at all the information it gives you underneath. So you know, I'll just quickly toggle that off and on again so you can see. Underneath each search result, it gives you a whole bunch of really useful information here. And I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what all of these different acronyms stand for. Bounce rate, that's always a good indication. So bounce rate is a funny old thing, but you know, I won't go into those details at the moment. But anyway, any of these different parameters here, you can click on it. So let's just pick one here. Um, that looks something to do with Bing. Hey, now I think that's Alexa. So that's no, it says not applicable, so I won't click click I won't click that. Who is? Let's um that's Google. So Anything to do with Google, it's not going to be very useful for us to find out about for this exercise. We really want to be looking at um, what could be deemed as competitors' websites. So, Ahrefs. Let's have a look what we can look at, look what we can find out about them. Um, rank. So the ranks ten thousand seventh. Um, age. So started nine years ago. Who is information that tells you? Well, who is this to do with the ownership of the website and that kind of thing? So that's not particularly of interest to us today. Um, let's just click on that one. TS. So the main overview for Ahrefs. So again, look at all the wonderful information that we get here. Overlaps with some of the other plugins I've dealt with in terms of it shows you which countries the traffic is coming from to their website. Top organic keywords. Again, just an absolute wealth of information, far too much for me to really go into detail on this video. But as you can see here, with this enabled, every time you do a search, it populates the screen with this information underneath the search result. Um, and it's a really useful summary for you to to look at. So when you're doing SEO, you should find this tool very, very useful indeed. There is an, a, 
a web, sorry, there's a website called SEM Rush. You can actually set up an account with that, with them, and you can hook the plugin in. You can, sorry, hook. You can link the plugin to your account, and that allows you to compare your competitors' website data to your own website data. So that is incredibly useful. Settings here, preferences. Now, I'm going to go through some of these preferences here. I know when you get to the parameters page, it's kind of quite dazzling because look, these are all the different things that you can look at and set it up. It's quite um, quite complex. But as I say, I really wanted to drew, draw your attention to this amazing plugin and SCM Rush generally. Very, very useful. Um, I don't know it inside out. I know the basics. If it's something that's of use to you, I su suggest you spend a bit of time studying it. But um, at least I've drawn your attention to the SEO Quake plugin, what it can do for you. And um, I hope this was useful. Thanks very much for watching.